so the goal for this product specifically, I suppose, um, you know, I got my Instagram account hacked, all of my like artistic income had slowed to a halt. I was pretty upset about it for a few months and then I decided to get off my ass and remake a new Instagram account. I decided that, you know, I've started and failed a couple of different clothing brand companies and I think that I, at this point in my life, I feel that I've learned enough to not fuck up this <laughs> next time. I didn't know what to call it, and in my old Instagram bio for years, it just said future somebody. So I went with it, and um, wanting to, this brand to succeed this time, I didn't just make three t-shirt designs, a hoodie, and socks. You know, like that, every, every clothing startup company has a couple of graphic tees and, you know, no standout products, and so, I, with like the brand's mission statement kind of hopefully being self-explanatory, you know, like that everybody can be a better future version of themselves and that relating into like metamorphosis, butterflies and the like. Um, I wanted to make a standout product that would bring attention to the brand. And this is a shoe that I had brewing in my mind for you know almost maybe a couple of years before i actually put it the idea down onto paper and started making mock-ups of it and i thought about it so much at that point that i basically knew like every detail that i wanted to have the design of the shoe um the actual production models will have a white and black sole rather than this clear one this is just one of the samples that i got um the shoe in and of itself is like almost more of a piece of artwork to me than a shoe and like it represents a lot of the brands what word am I looking for ethos is that the right word <laughs> um so I, I guess I just did an all white one because that's a basic, you know, colorway that everybody can get behind all white or all black. But I felt that white might be more appropriate just because of like the typically I wear all black, but like, you know, just like the hopefulness and like the positivity vibe, like, you know, I wanted to have them be bright, I guess. And I mean, it also relates into how, so this this part is meant to be a chrysalis, you know, the cocoon that a uh, caterpillar makes before transforming into a butterfly, the better version of themselves. And so there's little butterflies here and here. And then obviously there's the giant wing on the back. Um, and so the idea is that the more that you wear these and the chrysalis like tears off, which you can cut off with an X-Acto knife, um, and it looks like this underneath, just got a nice little floral pattern. I didn't want to, you know, add a check looking shape and have a certain company come after me, <laughs> um, which some people might think is lazy, but I. I, I thought that it was a little bit different than what every other bootleg Jordan company is doing. I'm really proud of these and I'm actually working on a silicone mold to make little caterpillars that, you know, I can send to people that buy the shoes and put them on the ends of the shoelace tips. <laughs> so it'll be the full Caterpie to Metapod to but Butterfree <laughs> evolution. The goal with these shoes is to, you know, for anybody that buys them and puts them on to kind of like, and this goes for all of the articles of clothing and merch that I'm going to be making. I just want people to have daily reminders that, you know, back up. I'm really guilty of a lot of self-deprecating humor. So much so to the point where <laughs> in one week, I think um, when I was still going to a therapist, 
I had my therapist and I had two of my best friends tell me that like, like I, like I made a joke and they kind of looked at me like, you don't need to talk about yourself like that. And I was like, it's all in good fun, but like, you know, words manifest into reality. And I took note of that and decided that I needed more positive affirmations in my life. And I think that everybody could. And so I want um, when people to put these shoes on to like remind themselves that when they're looking down, you know, kind of like not feeling the greatest, maybe if they see that they're wearing these shoes, they like remember that they're yet to become the best version of themselves, if that makes sense. Because, you know, when I was younger, I thought that by this age, I'd have my shit figured out. But I think that the only thing I figured out is that you can only like improve yourself incrementally. Um, and with purpose, it doesn't just like happen to you. And so I put quite a lot of work into these. I don't know how long they've existed in my mind, but when I finally decided that this was going to be a project that I would undertake, I think I started correspondence with a manufacturer in April of last year. No, not April. It must have been the beginning of the summertime, so like June. And uh, now it's <laughs> December 27th, and the shoes are in production. The box design has been finished. Um, they should be here in less than a month if everything goes according to plan. And I just can't wait to, you know, repost photos of people like wearing the shoes basically uh and another reason that i wanted to make the shoes is so that you know like you can make quite a bit of money selling t-shirts and hoodies and the like but it's in smaller increments and uh the shoes would basically generate the income that I would need to otherwise get from an angel investor to really make my brand the quality that it is. So like this will be able to make me afford to make like cut and sew pieces rather than just like sourcing blanks and making like sourcing the highest quality blanks I can find and then literally hand decorating every single garment of clothing by myself which you know can like the placement can be like too high or too low on the bottom of the on the back of the shirt sometimes i'm really excited to show everybody what what i've been working on set realistic goals no don't set realistic goals set like think of your dreams and how in like ways that you can accomplish them in incremental and realistic ways that sort of prove that your plan will work along the way and if you know one checkpoint doesn't work then you know pivot and readjust i think that being too set in your plan can potentially um derail your entire project because if you're not willing to pivot along with what's happening in the world like and you don't budge on things then things won't happen like for instance the box design that i wanted is slightly altered than the original design i had it planned in mind because of the recent COVID outbreaks in China. Like the factory workers are literally leaving the factories to go home so that they're not quarantined in these fucking factories with like hundreds and thousands of other workers. So I, I cannot blame them for that. I'll be satisfied with the box design, you know? Um, it's still very similar to the original design. And uh, just, you know, letting some things slide and letting other things not slide, I think is also an important 
uh, set of standards to hold yourself to because then you can't let manufacturers bully you around and stuff like that. You know, if a manufacturer tells you something you don't like or don't want to hear, talk to a different manufacturer or just kind of ghost them for a little bit because they want your business, you know. <laughs> like, <clears throat> at, at first I was told that, like, I would I paid I paid for two samples but like not different shoes the same exact pattern but maybe two different colorways and after all of the specifications that I had given them my manufacturer told me that they that they needed an extra $200 to change the shape of the back they needed x amount of money to like make a transparent sole and stuff and I was just like I'm going to go talk to other people for a couple of weeks and then see what's going on. And during those couple of weeks, my man, like that original manufacturer commented on every single one of my Instagram posts being like, hi, need to, need to talk, like important message for you. And I'm like, I already know what it's going to be. And I open up my DMs. I send her a message. What's up? And she's like, oh, I talked to my manager and the manager said everything's okay. And I'm like, I fucking knew it would be, you know. <laughs> uh, so that that made the timeline a little bit longer too but you know like knowing what things to stay true to and knowing what things to like watch out for also good um also china isn't the only manufacturer of things you know like these days malaysia does a lot of things uh what's the one that starts with p the philippines makes a lot of things yeah. Um, yeah, someone actually commented on my, you know, like subreddit, like I posted these on a subreddit and they're just like AMAX and I was like, I mean, all credit to AMAX for I guess being the guys that put butterflies on the side of the shoe first, but if you look at the shoe, the design is, I don't want to call it lazy. I just think that I put that much more time and effort into designing these ones and it wasn't just a money grab it was like you know like the money grab happened a long time ago for bootleg Jordans I'm very late to the train <laughs> um, and like sneakerheads might not even like these because they're bootleg Jordans they're not Nikes um, but I think that I think that these are almost the epitome of like art form and function not to <laughs> be tooting my own horn it's almost like a piece of artwork like if you didn't even like the shoes like maybe you can appreciate that it's just like a lot deeper than just a shoe to me I guess and not because like somebody won a basketball game in them or anything I think that it's I think that like the value is to the person that owns the shoe and like sees their own destiny unfolding better because of a positive mindset that they're like reinforcing by remembering that, you know, if you choose to become better, you do become better. If you're conscientiously making those decisions.